Failure does not set you back. You set yourself back when you think that that failure was the end all be all. I keep telling myself, oh my gosh, I have to start this all over. I have to heal all over again. No, I just need to go back to where I was and continue on. Like having that failure mindset and being stuck in that is low vibrational as fuck. And then you really got to do extra work. Like, no, I did enough work. I made a mistake. I'm going to reflect, refresh and start from where I was and continue to progress on. There is no starting over. I'm not going all the way back there. I'm going to start back. It's almost like I keep telling myself that oh, I'm dreading this because I got to heal all over again. But no, I just need to start where I finished off at. Back to the regular programming. Back to my self-love and my self-care. Back to my peaceful girl mom gang gang gang. It is what it is, you know? Failure does not mean that you have to restart. Failure means that you have to readjust. You have to adapt to the things that you've learned. Be even more cautious moving forward. So that you don't continue to create delays on your journey. Yeah. Failure is your warning to readjust. But not to start over. Not to have to go all the way back. I don't have to go all the way back to square one. I, st I was on like square two. <laughs> So, I'm going to continue from square two. Yeah. Failure is also confirmation. Failure is confirmation that your manifestations, you're still attracting things. You know, there's still things within you. That is it's confirmation as well. Failure is a lot of things. And if you choose to take failure and transmute it into positivity and to try to extract some high vibrational outcomes from it, it's really just an alert, an alarm, a uh, urge that whatever you're attracting and manifesting isn't conducive to your highest good or it's not meant for you. So readjust, readapt. You don't have to go back to square one. Go back to where you left off and continue to take off.